Hello, uh, this is Coin Metallurgist, and uh, what I'd like to show you today is the 2010 uh, Boy Scouts of America Centennial Silver Dollar uh, Proof Coin. Um, the United States Mint has uh, started to produce quite a lot of uh, uh, commemorative coins. Um, they commemorate all different kinds of things. Um, this one is the to commemorate 100 years since the Boy Scouts of America program uh, began. Um, it has a really nice uh, card in here that tells a little bit about the uh, coin and its composition and things. This coin is uh, proof quality. It's 90% silver, 10% uh, copper. Um, very, very uh, extravagant packaging for these proof coins. You know, it's got the outside cover and then it's got a box and then it's got uh, this um, cloth almost like a jewelry box um, I uh, did scouting and I uh, am an Eagle Scout so this coin it has some uh, sy symbolism or significance to me um, generally I don't uh, try to get uh, the commemorative coins um, that the mint makes just because they make so many of them and they sell them at such a high premium um, but this coin um, I got just because Boy Scouting uh, has a significance to me um, so on this uh, on the obverse of the coin uh, we have uh, you know it seems like a Boy Scout and maybe uh, his parents or two leaders um, saluting and you can tell that the uh, the young man there he's using two fingers uh, the woman's using all all her hand and then the man's using three fingers so in Cub Scouts they use two fingers and then uh, in Boy Scouts they'll use all three fingers um, uh, it says continuing the journey here at the top uh, which is not typically uh, written on the US coin so that's specific to this coin um, on the reverse um, in addition to uh, what the normal uh, normal U.S. coins will have, it has so it has the one dollar and the uh, the United States motto on the right side, um, which is what we typically see. Um, and over here we have the motto of the Boy Scouts: "Be prepared." Um, uh, this symbol in the middle is a traditional symbol of the Boy Scouts. Um, the part behind the eagle is actually called a uh, Fleur de Lis. I'm not sure uh, the pronunciation exactly, um, but the you have three different uh, like prongs coming out or three different points, and uh, they use that to symbolize the three uh, parts of the Scout Promise. So that would be uh, duty to God and country, uh, duty to self, and duty to others. Um, so it's for those three uh, prongs coming out. Um, and then this eagle with the crest on it, uh, or shield on it, is similar to the the eagle of the uh, United States um, presidential coat of arms. So we have the eagle with the shield. We just don't have the uh, the uh, the um, olive branch or the arrows in the talons of the eagle. Um, so very uh, Americanized uh, symbol here. Um, Boy Scouts in other countries will use uh, the fleur de lis symbol, um, but then they might have something else in front of it or nothing in front of it at all. Um, the uh, two uh, five-pointed stars, um, when we add all points together, that's ten points. So we could think about that being symbolic of the ten uh, points of the Scout Law. Um, so, you know, very symbolic, not traditionally what we see on U.S. Uh, coins. Um, the, the, in reality, um, you know, these coins are made to uh, make profit. So they sell them at a very extreme premium to, to what the silver value is in it, or uh, probably uh, the only reason why um, it would make sense to me to purchase these as a collector or someone who's trying to uh, make money off of them eventually is that they uh, extremely limit the uh, mintage of these coins. So it says here on our card, uh, mintage limit 
350,000 all options. So what that means is uh, the proof coins, the uncirculated coins, um, I don't know if they made any other ones, but all the different options they had, um, over all those options, they could only make um, 350,000 of this coin. So it's um, not in extreme abundance, and that will hopefully um, allow these coins to have a significant value even into the future. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any comments or questions, uh, please make those below. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel. Thanks.